ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the shop now this is the Diedrich sword build for Maker Central 2023 that's a six foot Skyrim sword if you don't know now this is the one that you can win by coming to the show and entering the raffle nice and simple nice and easy but you've got to come to the show now in the last episode you saw me mill this up and glue it together ready to be shaped in this one but if you haven't seen the last video of me doing that I'm gonna put a little pin up there just for you to go and watch and um, I'll wait for you so I'm just gonna chill out here and you off you go off you toddle go on, off you go I'm just gonna wait not a problem at all hi what are you doing that's not how YouTube works get a wriggle on they want to see the rest of the build fine I will continue touchy eh god so in this episode we're going to shape this one get it all glued up get it all ready and we should have a rough shape of the sword by the time we finish. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a uh, detour because I, obviously as you've seen, you saw me make this a while ago, and I constantly keep knocking this on the floor. So I'm actually going to mount it to the wall. So I'm going to put it up there. Okay, so we're at the stage of this build now where I need to physically cut this out. And now I am very scared to do this. Now, if I do this, there is no going back. I do not think the Surrey Timbers are going to send me any more free wood. So I have to get this right. And if I screw it up, I'm going to have to try and deal with the consequences of that. But I am scared to do it. Very, very scared to do it. All right, let's get on and do it. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you for a second. When I initially planned this out, I didn't know what it was going to look like. I had no clue. And it was hard to picture it just from a few th images from a video game and things like that. But now that I've got it cut out to a rough shape, oh my god, it is so cool. <laughs> okay. And the thing is, it's not even its finished length because it's got something else to go on the bottom as well. And that is going to look awesome. I don't, this is going to be so much fun walking into Maker Central like this. This is just going to be brilliant. Walking around, pictures with everyone. Colin first, coming for you. And all the other guys as well. I can't wait for you to see this finished. Oh. Right. I'm going to crack on.
Okay, so I am currently sanding this down with my Triton oscillating belt sander and I've come to the conclusion that the 45 degree angle isn't enough. I need to raise this top section up a little bit because it's just not getting in deep enough. It's got a nice cross section as you can see, but I just want it to be deeper. So I need to now somehow figure out how to do that. Like that's meant to be beveled this way, but what if I try and bevel this bit, I'm knocking out the ready to move on to the next step obviously there is some more sanding that I need to do but I'll worry about that later um, so thank you for watching um, if you've got this far and you've not watched me put this blank together then go and watch the last video I tried to tell you at the beginning so the next video is going to be the guard and maybe the handle and the pommel I'm not sure I'll see how long the video turns out but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next bit right I'm going to go and play with my sword.